hello so we now need to get these sprockets off because we do want to put them on the other machine so we're going to get the cover off and the hub and have an attempt at pulling them off with this homemade kit we made a few years ago we've used it before once and it just about did the job um, that was with a 50 ton inner pack and this plate and these high tensile rods so we get get this set up and see if they pop off So we know you've got all our new clothes. Yeah. Put them in the wash later. Yeah, she'd never know. Oh, nice berry. Oh, what a nice white one. Yeah. Is that that berry's going to come off? Yeah. Ooh. This nut is what holds a sprocket onto a spline shaft, stops it coming off. So we're gonna undo this now. Hopefully, by doing that, it helps us push this bearing off. So, the nut's not really coming undone. Um, C span is slipping off that we've got, it's not really man enough and it's not the right shape. It should go round just over halfway and then that allows the end to not slip out. So yeah, that's not working. We're gonna make a better one now. So I've made a 20 mil C spanner. It fits nice, doesn't come off put a bar in there but it's still not undoing very easily so I'm going to put my weight on there I'm going to go and get the old man see if he can give that a clout with a hammer try and get this bearing off then bearing as it gets cut yeah how are we going to tap it with a hammer mate with that? Yeah, we came off the nut came off the thread so we've got to prize this bearing off come on hey. no okay. you get inside then we're going to lose the game we're going to start come on in come on in come on big up quick no it's too much flex Oh, 
Seals good. Crusty old grease, but that's good because they're self sealing, aren't they? When they... And the plate's good. The wear plate in there is really good. Gasket, yeah. it's all in good order. And we didn't break it. So we stripped the other side. Um, the bearing was a lot tighter this side. Um, we were just damaging the nut and our special tool. So we decided to cut the bearing off in the end. And there it is, in pieces. And the sprocket was just as loose as the other side, it just tapped off with a sledgehammer. Okay. 